BTS Rock 5000 writes, I'm having trouble with my PC controller. It works, except I want, for example, if I press button 1, the computer would recognize that as space button. Sadly, my controller did not come with software, but it did say it had programmable buttons. Well, I have a solution for you, TS Rock 5000, and that is XPadder. Xpadder is a piece of software that allows you to emulate your keyboard and mouse with your gamepad controller, whether it be Logitech or another. It's available at xpadder.com and is compatible with Windows XP and Vista as well as 7. It's available in many languages and costs just under $10, but if you haven't got that money or don't want to part with your cash, I've uploaded a free version of it before you have to start paying, which you can download. So after you've downloaded that, saved it to somewhere like your desktop or where you'll find it easily, just open the zip folder and you'll see a folder within that. Extract it to somewhere of your choosing. I'm going to do it on my desktop and then just open it when it's done. When you've opened it, you'll see many files, including pre-configured game profiles, if you have Star Trek Legacy, Bridge Commander, or Second Life, as well as other things. So just run the program and then click on New to make a new profile. For the image, click on Open and then search for a controller that resembles yours or is exactly like it. Click on Sticks. And all we need to do now is just configure our gamepad. It's pretty self-explanatory, so just go through what it says on the screen and search. What you need to do here is go click on New to bring up a new configuration. And click on each one of the buttons individually and set it to the button on the keyboard. For example, I'm going to just do W, A, S, and D, which is standard for a keyboard configuration, whether it be FPS or another. If you are unsure what your game's layout is or are for the keyboard, you can just Google and it. it'll probably give you a lot of results. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.